In this video I will explain you the terminology, player position, goal style, offside icing, lines, fouls and at the end of the video I will walk you through a real game. After watching this video you will be able to watch ice hockey, understand it and enjoy it. Let's start. <laughs> Ice hockey is placed on an ice surface known as ice rink. Length of the rink is 200 feet and the width is 85 feet. Since players play it on ice, they use ice skates, they use hockey and they hit the puck into the goal. The puck is a solid disc, it's a rubber disc, so rather than a spherical ball, it's a rubber disc. Objective of this player is to hit the puck into the goal. There is a goalkeeper whose job is to protect it. If you see, the goal is small, so there is a very small area from which players can hit the puck into the goal. This is how a real field look like. If you see, the goal is really small. So it's challenging to hit the puck into the goal. This is how the stadium looks like from the top. Ice hockey is a six versus six game. They have substitute who would substitute players. There is no limitation of number of substitute that can be done. There is a goalkeeper in each team. Then they have three offensive players and two defensive players. In ice hockey, there are three referees and game starts with a face off. So referee is going to drop the puck into this blue area as soon as puck hits the floor players can hit it and the game begins to show you how it looks like in real here is a referee who is going to drop this puck into this blue area as soon as it hits the blue area game is on this situation is called as a face off now there are multiple spots on the field where face off can happen you see these eight big red dots are where the face off can happen during certain situations at the beginning of a game or after a goal is scored, face-off would happen at the blue dot which is at the center of the field. Referee drops the puck and the game goes on. Objective of team is to score goals. Objective of black team is to hit the puck into their opponent's goal and objective of yellow team player is to hit the puck into opponent's goal. Each goal worth one point. Goal can be done in a different style. One is you hit the puck from a far distance and it goes directly into the goal. The second is deflection where you hit the puck and your player deflect the puck into the goal. These are two main types of scoring goal. There's another way is where a player is behind the goal. If you notice the goal is not at the end of the field. The goal is inside the field. So players can go behind the goal and they can pass it to their teammate and they can score the goal. One thing you would notice is if a players are close to the goal they can hit it at 105 miles per hour and it's easier to score goal compared to if a player is very far. Player is very far and they take a shot then other players can stop it and the puck also slows down so goalkeeper can also stop it so it becomes very hard. So for this player to score goal he cannot really hit it from here so what option does he have? He can move ball or puck forward by dribbling so he can take the puck using his hockey sticks and move forward or he can also do a pass so he can pass it to his teammate or what he can do is I call it a wall dribble. He can use the wall for dribbling beautiful did you see the yellow player is coming towards him he dodged the player he hit the puck onto the wall and then went into other direction and got the puck back another way is wall pass so he can use wall to pass it to player on the other side of the field using all these methods they can move close to goal and score a goal things that they cannot do is offside so look at this situation this player gave a pass to his player this is offside it's not allowed why because you see the blue line your player cannot cross this blue line before the puck so see again the player crossed the line before puck crossed the line so that is offside and in that case there would be a face off to the closest red circle near to the place where offside happens so from here the game would start again with the face off in this situation if you see a pass is given and now it's fine it's not offside because puck has crossed the blue line and none of the black player is behind the blue line so this is fine. Another thing we need to learn here is known as icing. So what is icing? If you hit the puck and it crosses two red lines, the red line at the center and red line closer to your opponent's goal post then that would be icing and it's not allowed. 
if you see here it crosses two red lines and in this case a face off would happen to the location near to your goalpost if the icing happens on the top half the face off would be at top half because in this case it was at bottom half face off would be at bottom half in this case player has passed the puck but it only has crossed one red line so it is fine no foul game can continue so why do we have this offside and icing that is to make the game more dynamic consider this scenario now this player can give pass to a and b but remember the offside puck is not behind the blue line so player a and b would need to move before the blue line and now they can give a pass and game can continue the whole reason for having the offside and the icing is to game more dynamic have all the players in the same area make it much more fun we talked about offensive players so these three players are offensive player but in hockey they call it a line so these three players are called as offensive line this is one line similarly they have four such lines so a combination of three player is a line they have four such lines which means they have 12 offensive players then defensive player also they have defensive pair they have three such pairs that means they have six defensive player on the team and they have two goalkeeper substitution in ice hockey is dynamic which means the game doesn't stop so here if you see the player hit the puck and the other three player came in because it's a line the whole line gets replaced so the three players go and they take rest and another three player comes in so what about these four offensive line why do they have four and what is the role the first offensive line is scoring line they are the best offensive player and they are very good at scoring goal once they get tired then they bring in the second line which is also a scoring line they are also good at scoring goal but not as good as the first line line three is a checking line so players in line three are very physical their job is to tire opponent team they are decent at scoring goal but their main role is their physicality and tire out their opponents then there is a fourth line where the players are not very good and they do not spend a lot of time on the ice rink so they are good players but they do not spend a lot of time majority of time it's line one two and then line three let's see the dynamic substitution again so there are three gray players in substitute area let's say they are line two and line one is playing so line one player would hit the puck and the line two players comes in so it happens on the fly it's dynamic nothing stop game goes on one of the most fun part of this game is it is a contact sport so if you see the player is hitting the puck other players can come and push them and make a contact something like this is very common in ice hockey game where players push each other but there are few things they cannot do let's take a look at stick foul stick foul is when you use stick in a way which is not allowed here you just did the spearing you cannot hit the other players using your stick here they just hit it in the head so called high st sticking not allowed here they use stick to trip the player called as tripping this is also not allowed body foul is when you hit the player from the behind is not allowed and then there's the elbow there are many such fouls and depending upon the kind of foul you do you serve a different kind of penalty in this case let's say this player did a foul then player would go out depending upon whether he did a minor or major foul the duration for which that person would be outside the game would be decided if it's a minor foul that person would stay out for two minutes if it's a major foul that person would stay out of the game for five minutes now in this scenario if you see there are more players of black team on the rink so they have high chances of scoring goal that's why this situation would be called as power play for black team they are much more attacking in this time and because the objective of yellow team is to defend now and kill the penalty time they would have their penalty kill team so during this two or five minutes it's just going to be black team attacking on the yellow team and game gets very interesting here if the foul is very bad then a penalty can also be given in a penalty player would start from center and it would be only goalie and player and the player can shoot it into the goal and that would be a penalty hockey is played in a periods and one period consists of 20 minutes and they play for three periods so it makes 60 minutes of a game now let's take a look at the real game players are warming up by their skating and goalkeeper is practicing how to defend the puck going into the goal 
and you see the stadium is pretty big and all players are skating for the warm up and lighting is amazing in ice hockey games here the game starts with the face off and puck drops and the game begins and the black team has given a good pass and trying for an attack and it's a shoot and miss now the white team is playing white team is attacking and a good defense from the black team puck is back with the black team and black team on attack and the shoot and the goal and there goes the horn black team score the goal whenever team scores goal the horn goes loud and the stadium goes crazy here's a slow motion replay boom into the goal after the goal the line changes it's optional but it can happen three players goes out and then we have a face off again puck is with the black team black team passing attacking again and boom another goal and honk goes again honk is best part of ice hockey real match it's an amazing experience here see the replay and boom into the goal here defense look they are knocking out the other players it's a contact sport and it is allowed see again the white player gets knocked out here boom he's on the floor here we see another goal boom and the honk goes on that's a beauty of ice hockey Hit the puck into the goal. Another beauty is fighting. In ice hockey, if both the players shook off their gloves and throw the stick, they can get into fighting. They can punch in the face at the body and the objective is to knock out one of the player. And this goes on until one gets knocked out. However, if one player shook off glove, other didn't shook off glove, then the player who shook off glove gets a time penalty. In this case, both shook off the glove, so both of them would serve a time penalty. However, the winner gets the credit. Sad day for the loser. Thank you for watching till the end. Subscribe the channel as I release new sports video every month. And check out the channel to learn about other sports as well. It takes enormous effort to make this video. So if you liked it, hit the like button and share it with your friends. And do subscribe to get to know about other awesome sports. Bye-bye.